Ah, new face. Wonderful. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Where's Apologies he so small? if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows. Wind Wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom... Do you mind sharing more about your broom? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps. Well, you weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the you one's darker reputation. Then you have the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. What are we looking for today? <laughs> no. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. That item is of the highest quality. Would have paid more attention when I was at Hogwarts. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. That item is of the highest quality. Oh, yeah. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, you seem to be a flyer who might be interested in... Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any... What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your... I could complete work on my first upgrade. Sounds as though you took Kagawa's... I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United... And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. 
Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Holy summoner, bro. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Good thing the middle is all Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Hey you, Gryffindor. Imelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me, Slytherin Quidditch captain, <laughs> jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the. <laughs> I held one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can be. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can... I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. <laughs> Made it! Brilliant! Just speeds me up. Did it. Brilliant. Well, that gives me a hug. <laughs> Too hard. <laughs> oh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Oh, fine. You won. Oh, 
Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your respect. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Wait a second, I'm not first. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. Fuck you! Ah, success! Whoa! Uh -huh. Yeah, but I'm still slower even though I'm not missing the single one. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, you're back! With something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? Oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they... I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick could let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. 
I guarantee you'll be pleased. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Rebellion.